Good morning, everybody. Hopefully you guys can see me okay. Um, it's about 5.45 here in the islands. Um, solo hike mission this morning um, for sunrise. Uh, it's pretty cold out here. So we still have that cold front that's uh, keeping the winds light. But the, it's freezing. I think it's like 60 something degrees uh, again here in Hawaii. So yeah, I'm gonna get going. Not gonna film my way going up because it's pitch black and you're not gonna see anything anyway. So I uh, will see you guys when we get up there and wish me luck. Hopefully I don't get uh, attacked by a boar or fall off the cliff. I'll try my best. See you guys up there. My friends are somewhere on the beach down there. Let me let me go see if we can find them. Oh, if I see how good this iPhone zoom is. Beck, is that you down there? Fran, are you somewhere on that beach over there? I can't see you. The iPhone zoom kind of sucks. I mean, it's not bad considering it's an iPhone, but come on, can't see you guys. Now, of course, our microphone failed us once again this morning. The hike up wasn't that bad and sunrise was actually looking pretty nice. We had a couple of low clouds low on the horizon, but the rest of the sky was completely clear with enough space for that sunlight to come through. Now, the mountain views were absolutely amazing. And we also had some rock formations that we could use as foreground. But getting those two subjects in focus proved more technically challenging than I had originally thought. All right, so filming with the iPhone shooting on the camera, and if this camera wants to focus, then maybe I can start talking. All right, so the reason why I said this shot is pretty technically challenged um, is because there's a lot of foreground and a lot of background. And you can see here, if I open up my camera all the way to 2.8, um, and focus on the rock. The rock is sharp, nice and sharp, but the background and all of that mountain, the beautiful mountain, is all blurry. Even if I stop down to something like F16 with the most depth of field, because the hole is the tiniest, it's still gonna be slightly blurry and not totally in focus. So that's gonna require me to do what's called a focus stack where I take one shot of this rock here in the foreground, and then I refocus on the mountain in the background and get the mountain all nice and sharp. That way I can ensure that I have perfect focus front to back. Um, and uh, yeah, just like a nice, clean, fully focused landscape shot, which is what we're always trying to go for in landscape photography. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. I might just refine the composition a little bit. So it's a little bit more fine tuned. Um, but uh, yeah, that's basically what I'm going for here today. And we just got to wait for the light at this point. Um, yeah.
the sun began to rise off in the distance, I quickly ran to grab my telephoto lens and fired off several shots. quiet up here I'm pretty sure you guys can hear me okay but there it is there's the Sun that popped out of those clouds um, so we're starting to get a little bit of light here on the mountain we, what we are starting to get is some nice golden light here on this rock in our foreground so we'll take those shots and it'll be pretty interesting I'm essentially just gonna take the shot over and over again and then I'll pick the one that I like uh, in post but man such a beautiful morning beautiful sunrise and hopefully we'll get some beautiful light on this ridge. <laughs> oh boy. Oh my goodness. Here comes that light that I'm talking about. Okay. Time to get set up. Actually, I'm set up already. Oh boy. Don't want to fall off the cliff either. That's a bad thing. Don't vlog and on a cliff and try to take photos at the same time. It's a bad idea. Oh boy. Look at that light. That's fantastic. Oh photogasm for sure and it's just going to get, get better and better what a very very successful morning i'll put the camera put the phone away before i before i fall off this cliff and die yeah that's not a that's not a fun drop <laughs> After we got the shot that we were going for, I turned the camera around to take some pictures of the ridges behind us. After the golden light transitioned into that bright morning light, I decided to pop the drone up for a quick morning flight.
Now, I wish I knew what I was saying as I ate my breakfast, which was a spam musubi from 7 Eleven that we picked up right before we started this hike. But if all you learned in this video was how to focus stack a little bit easier or just understand the concept of focus stacking a little bit more, then hey, I guess mission accomplished. This was probably my third or fourth time ever going up and shooting this ridge. And like I always say in each video, it's all about trying to get the shot with the right conditions. Both of those times that I went before, we were pretty clouded out and the sun didn't really come out until well after the actual sunrise. So to get that nice morning glow on the peaks was something that, you know, we were chasing for quite a bit uh, up until this point. But anyways, if you like this video, please hit the like button, comment below and subscribe if you aren't already. And uh, we'll see you guys next time. And hopefully my microphone is working, but no promises. <laughs> All right. See you guys. Peace out.